Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about uh, setting up my penetration test lab. Uh, getting into it at my nine to five job, so I need to create a lab to start practicing. And I'm using the Panasonic Toughbook 55 as my uh, portable laptop to do my testing on. So today is going to be part one. Uh, hypervisor and also network setup for my pen test lab or penetration test lab. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to right click on the start menu, go to run, type in WinVER, hit OK, and I'm running everything within a Windows 10 version 1903. And again, within the Panasonic Toughbook 55, because I had it there. It's a strong machine. So why not take advantage of it? So first things first, let's click on start. And within start, let's type in control panel and click on control panel. And from here, you want to locate and click on programs and features. And on your upper left hand side, click on turn windows features on and off and then locate hyper V. Once you locate hyper V, give it a check mark to enable it. Press OK. It's going to start installing itself and the machine will need to be rebooted. Once it's rebooted, you're good to go. So once you reboot, you are able to go inside your start menu and locate your Hyper-V manager and just open it up. As you can see, it's already opened up and I'm good to go almost. Now for my environment, what I did was I needed to change a couple of things within my Hyper-V manager. So I clicked on Hyper-V settings. And the first thing that I did was change the virtual hard disk location. So by default, it drops inside my C drive. So I clicked on browse and I want to drop inside my D drive and I created a folder within my D drive called VMs. Okay. The next location that I wanted to change is your, um, the default folder to store your virtual machine configuration file. By default, it's located on your C drive. I wanted to change it and drop it inside my D drive. So I created a folder called VMs config files, and this is where I'm going to drop it. Now I'm going to want to create a virtual NIC, right? A V switch. So I'm going to click on start and I'm going to type in PowerShell ISC because I love doing PowerShell. You are able to do uh, the configuration for your vSwitch within Hyper-V Manager, but you know, I like using PowerShell as much as I can. So open up your Windows PowerShell ISC, you know, right click on it and run it as an administrator, load it up. And the first command that we need to do is the following. We are going to do a new VM switch with a parameter of dash switch name and I'm going to call it NAT switch with another parameter of dash switch type and it's going to be internal and we're going to run it and done not yet now the next thing that we need to do is assign an ip address so we're going to do a new net ip address with a dash ip address of 192.168.01 with a dash prefix length of 24 and we're going to do a, another parameter of dash interface alias of v ethernet open and close parentheses and inside the parentheses we're going to call nat switch we're going to run that command and we're good we got one more command to do and we're final with our v switch the final command is new dash net nat uh with a parameter of name nat network and we're going to give the we're going to call another parameter of dash internal ip interface address prefix of 192.168 zero zero slash 24 and we're going to run that and then we're good to go now because this is not a dacp this is a net that means i have to individually assign the ip address for each of my virtual machines that i'm going to be using within my penetration lab okay so once that's done you are able to go inside start and within start locate your hyper-v manager open it up and then when you go inside uh virtual switch manager you're going to see your new switch, NAT switch. Click on it and you're good to go. Again, we set it as an internal network and we need to configure our virtual machines with an IP address. Just make sure it's on the range of 192.168. Well, my range, that's my range. That's what I gave my V switch, but you guys can give it whatever you want within your environment. Uh, this is part one of just setting up the hypervisor and my network. Again, I'm using Hyper-V because the uh, Panasonic Toughbook 55 kind of supports it, so why not? Take advantage of it. You are able to install VirtualBox or VMware Workstation and get yourself up and running. I think in the following videos, I'm going to show you guys how to configure Kali um, and other software and programs so we can start doing our penetration tests 
right away. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and make sure you subscribe and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.